Hello everybody, I'm Joe Somebody, and this is part five of my five-part video series aboard the Carnival Valor cruising to the Bahamas. In this video, I just walked around the ship on our last day, which was our sea day, and filmed some various things I thought you might like to see on the ship. Come on down to the dawn of the world. Let's take that path through the atmosphere and give four thousand answers to all of your questions and maybe it will all become clear oh take out your guitar and pray with the crowd in the palace oh take out your guitar and pray with the crowd in the palace in the palace with the crowd in the palace Let's roll with the light And leave our coins behind Ride the waves through the ages See unknown plays and stages Turn the engines on And drive right through the sand Yeah, down that long road Until we reach the end Oh, take out your guitar and pray With the crowd in the palace Oh out your guitar and pray with the crowd in the palace and our souls are like magnets that attract us like fragments floating in the yellow desert air they dance all around us kicking up dust from Bethlehem to Lancashire oh That's real. She was dark, but set free by fire and harps. Now she got a direction and found her glory. It's a connection to a lovely place. Oh, take out your guitar and pray with the crowd in the palace. Oh, take out your guitar and pray with the crowd in the palace oh take out your guitar and pray with the crowd in the palace with the crowd in the palace with the crowd in the palace I said that I thought Carnival Valor had a hidden deck, and it does. Uh, I found a thing online that said go to deck number 10 all the way forward, go through a door. That's what we did, and here we are. There's nothing really here, so have a look.
This is footage from our last dinner aboard the Carnival Valor and it's quite sad when they sing this song because your bags are packed and you're really not ready to go. We knew that this would be the last evening that we would get to hang out with our new friends and that this whole wonderful vacation was coming to an end. After dinner was over, we all went to the Serenity Deck and hung out and just chatted about life and things and stuff. Then we decided if we were going to go, we were going to go out with a bang. We went back to the Punchline or Comedy Club and watched back-to-back -back comedy shows with George Solano and Thea Vidal yet again. Even though we were seeing the same two comedians as the night before, they had some new material and it was hilarious yet again. I cannot stress what a fantastic time we had seeing the comedy shows aboard the Carnival Valor. After all that, it was time for a late night snack, say our goodbyes to Patrick and Jennifer, exchange Facebook links and things and stuff, and go back to our cabin and mope. Saddened that we have to go back to reality. But on a positive note, this cruise gave my wife enough points to become a gold member in the VIFP club, which is good because I've been a gold member for a little while and she was really wanting to be a gold member. When you become a gold member, they start giving you the VIFP club pins on every sailing, which we didn't get. And we realized that we didn't get, so we actually had to call down to guest services on the last night of the cruise and say, hey, we didn't get our pins, man. And they uh, delivered some pins to our stateroom, so that was pretty cool of them. While on this trip, I purchased a data package for the first time so that I could stay connected for work, check my email, and keep you guys in the loop what was going on via Facebook updates. The package that I chose to get was 240 minutes for $89. That works out to roughly 37 cents a minute. It's much better than the 75 cents a minute rate if you don't buy a package and you just pay as you go. I love Carnival and I don't want to say anything bad about them, but being an IT guy, that was some of the slowest in most inconsistent internet I've probably ever used. It worked, especially for cell phones and things like that, but connecting a laptop to it and downloading some emails and that kind of stuff, uh, it took a lot longer to do things than what you, you know, thought it would do. I have 50 meg fiber optic internet at my house, so whenever I go somewhere on a trip where I'm using satellite internet that's high latency and really slow like that, uh, it just really catches you off guard. Overall, I was glad that I bought it and I was glad that I could stay connected, but I hope that this is an area that Carnival will improve upon in the future, and I know that they're already working on it on some of their ships. Well, that's going to do it for part five of this five-part series. If you haven't seen the other parts for some reason, go back and watch them. If you loved them, go re-watch them again. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and do all the wonderful things, and thank you very, very much for watching. As always, I enjoyed taking the trip, I enjoyed making the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. My name is Joe Somebody, and I'll see you in the next video.